welcome friends today uh, this is a continuation of the previous video build data table right so we saw in the previous example how do you build a static uh, data table right so this is where we have uh, if you have not seen that video it's all right i'll just explain so we have created multiple different columns here id name location company name and here i am using a auto increment feature okay auto increment feature has been enabled wherein automatically it's taking the values so this is a static way you know the moment you start creating coming into a new row it is automatically you can see that it is automatically getting the values right so if i hit enter over here this again automatically will take that values you can see that automatically is taking the value now i want to do it in a dynamic way right i don't want to do it type it here rather i want to have that number increased in a dynamic way all right so let's see that to start with what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this id field to the extreme right and i'm going to explain why all right now um, you can see that until now there are only three different data rows are available okay and 100 101 102 is the id numbers assigned to each of these customers right they are from this location company name is so and so this is the id numbers okay now i want to enter data dynamically so how to do that so for that again go to activities and simply write data table all right now you can see there are so many activities so one of the activity that i'll be using in this example is add data row all right so add data row so what this add data row would do is it is going to add a new row into the data table so the data table uh, the output is passed to the variable dt1 right this dt1 is the data table variable if you see it here dt1 got created this is a data table kind so i'm going to remove that previous one so dt1 is the table data table which i'm going to utilize all right so add data row how to utilize so first thing is in the input property panel you have got something called data table so here i'm going to enter dt1 so that is the ta data table now there are two ways to add a data one is array row the other one is data row all right so here uh, my example is to how do you utilize the auto increment okay so how do you utilize the auto increment so one of the basic way to do is you know let's say i am going to keep something like this okay two curly braces that i have utilized okay nothing else i am not entering any data so let's see how the data is going to appear then we will do multiple experiments so for that i am going to use the right range activity and in the right range activity i am going to write it to a excel file so let me go to documents and here i have the data table demo excel file all right and here it's going to write the data so from which data table the data table name is dt1 data table 1 okay from here it's going to write all the data so let me show you what is there inside the uh, file okay so now you can see that the data table demo file has contains nothing right it it has got no data all right let me close it all right so now uh, if you want to in, so if you see data table name location company name id these are the different data sets which is available okay so i want to include the header so all you have to do on the right hand side you have something called add headers okay so that way all the headers also will appear so let me run it and show you what has happened all right so column name does not allow nulls so why did not um, enter the data because if i go back to data table column name right here i said it cannot take any null value right it cannot take a null value okay so let me check location can it take a null value yes uh, company name can it take a null value yes id is auto increment right so this one something i cannot leave a null value okay very good so how do you fix that so all i will do in the add row instead of using just this one okay if let's say for example um, if i allow null value to take the entry i'll show you that okay so i change it to allow null okay click on okay this is the name field now if i run it you will see that error will not come okay so the execution started and completed so let me open that file you can see that it has taken the 
null value right and it, you can see the counter has automatically increased so we had only three data right 100 101 102 now the null value got entered but and the company name is a default um, uh, default value so that has appeared and 103 is automatically it has increased so let me go back and show you if you go to build data table company name here i have selected default value i have given as abc right so that is why it is writing abc for all the new rows so here i have utilized only one row to be entered right so here i have utilized only one activity so it is automatically adding a row with you know date uh, one second okay so this is what it is taking the default value and here the name i have allowed null so it is taking the null let's say i cannot allow null let's say i'm unchecking this okay so it cannot take a null value so now if i run it you just saw that it is going to give an error okay it's saying uh, name does not allow a null value okay so how do you how do you then pass the value what is the way to pass the value okay let's see that so in add row instead of writing double uh, braces you know curly uh, curly braces what i'm going to do here is i need to enter the first first value so let's say the first value let's say i'm entering gopal okay because rest of the value can stay null right it uh, so first value i'm going to enter as gopal and click on okay now let me execute this before i execute ensure because it's a workbook uh, so i need to save it okay i need to close it okay why i'm removing all this so that you don't get confused with the previous data because it's going to overwrite so i'm going to remove everything and run it again okay let me run it so what i have done here is in add row i have just entered one value that is the name field okay all right so it got executed right successfully executed let me open that file all right so you can see that gopal value has been taken and the auto increment also has happened yes or no you can see that auto increment has worked okay so this is this is when i have kept it on the right hand side extreme right i have kept okay let me do one thing let me keep that id field on the extreme left or in between we will see what is the problem okay so i'll go to build data table just highlight the id and i'm going to drag and drop to the here okay now i'm not changing any other codes it's all remaining same just the field location i have changed from the last i brought it to the extreme left okay now you see that what is the problem okay so read this uh, error what it's saying our data row input string was not in a in not in a correct format could not store gopal in id column expected type integer 32 so what is happening the first field is id which is a which is a integer 32 type right and here in the add row you are defining one second so in the add row here you are defining gopal so what is what exactly is it trying to do is the value whatever the first value is trying to enter in the first column so the first column is integer 32 and it cannot take that so auto increment feature i have, I have done a lot of experiments and uh, when i am keeping on the extreme left and trying to define some value that is where it is not working in case you find uh, a right way to do it please do comment it but again from my experiments what i'm finding is keeping the id to the extreme right right extreme right is something or or in between would help us so this is one of the learnings that has happened from the experiments all right guys so this is where we are covering the auto increment feature a couple of more things about our data row that i'm going to teach in the next video thank you for watching have a wonderful day